Hi, Keith. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Gilbert. How are you doing this afternoon? Uh, doing very well, and uh, it's uh, good to have you here. I mean, maybe you could just start off by just uh, briefly introduce about your company, Energy Finders. What do you do here? Absolutely. So Energy Finders is a clean technology company that is really focused on energy and environment technologies, which we believe uh, will impact society at scale. Uh, our vision is really to re-engineer localized energy production uh, through the development of community scale microgrids on overlooked or undervalued uh, real estate sites. And in addition, we are simultaneously developing a proprietary new form of concentrated photovoltaics, which is called uh, eBox. And we believe this technology is poised to disrupt the photovoltaic and battery energy storage system industries once we achieve commercialization readiness. Exciting sounds. So let's just talk a bit more about your one of your recent uh, announcements. You talk about that earlier in your overview here. You have your phase one update on your microgrid development site. It's the first one. So can you share more details of, on, on that and, and what, what sort of uh, revenue uh, projection you have on that as well? Certainly. Uh, so our first microgrid development site is currently in the design and engineering phase of the construction, which can take anywhere from two to six months to complete. Uh, what I love about our revenue model is that it enables us to collect an engineering fee in the first phase, a construction fee in the second phase, and then a power purchase agreement with the eventual customer in the third phase. So it's really a three-pronged approach. And uh, we're estimating that the revenues from the first site will come in at around $165,000 a year uh, based on their current usage and a 10% savings we expect to net them. Uh, but what's more exciting is the cost of the site itself uh, would net us between one and $2 million worth of revenue. And when you extrapolate that $165,000 over five years, you're really looking at $5 million uh, or more in revenue per site over the length of that 30 year uh, power purchase agreement. I'd also want to highlight that our microgrids are really first in kind uh, because the subsurface soil conditions are highly engineered so that we're able to invite uh, stormwater off the adjacent parking lots or buildings into the subsurface soils of our microgrids. And that's important because it can generate uh, TMDL stormwater credits that we can sell uh, to make our projects more cost effective. Great to hear. So, so what sort of overall growth strategy do you have on the company? I, are you also looking for uh, funds or financing to fund that growth? We are. We're applying for grants for this first uh, first site and then probably the second site as well. But our goal is really to tap into those finished microgrids. Uh, we've had a few financiers offer us up to 65% loan to value on any finished microgrid that we complete. So we would be able to tap into the, the equity side of the finished microgrid to develop the future microgrids. Uh, and that wasn't something we had uh, originally planned on. It was just an offer that came up. So that was a, a neat byproduct of one of our recent conferences. But we're really looking for two forms of financing. Uh, one would be a $1 million or so direct equity investment into the company uh, to close our current pre-seed round. And then we're also looking for a long-term combination of uh, possibly debt, equity, and warrants, which would be exercisable uh, four to five years from now. Um, but we're also open to hearing other accredited investors' uh, potential terms, and we would welcome anyone who's interested uh, to reach out and uh, have a conversation with us. Sure. And, and as an investor point of view, uh, one of the most important things they think of when, when uh, watching the growth company, the small and the micro cap company, is the management team. Uh, can you tell us a bit about your, your management team sort of uh, background on this business? Sure. So our, our background of our management team is probably one of our biggest strengths. Uh, we're really based on three different entrepreneurs that have various skill sets uh, that have brought the team together. Our CEO is Mohammed Zalfikar, who's uh, exited three private companies before uh, taking the public route with Energy Finders. So this will be his fourth venture. Our uh, CFO is a 30-year CPA who has worked for numerous uh, United States or UK private public uh, companies, and he's completed successful financial turnarounds of three of those businesses. So he has three exits really in, under his belt as well before coming on Energy Finders. And then last you have me, uh, our uh, young vice president and the seed uh, seed investor in Energy Finders, 
I was the first person that came on as a, a capital investor. And uh, my background was really the uh, stormwater management side of things, which has ended up opening some opportunities for us within this microgrid development. So you really have a CEO whose background is semiconductors and energy, a CFO who has done mostly you know, public private capital raises and, and uh, turnarounds of larger companies that were being uh, part of a merger or an acquisition. And then you have myself who really just got uh, 12 years of private business background uh, before uh, coming on board with Energy Finders. So in summary, what makes your company stand out among your peers in that sustainable energy space and any sort of catalyst that you think the investors should be following in the next 12 months? Sure. So what makes us stand out the most, I would say, is we're the only public company that we're aware of that is vertically integrating energy and environment technologies. And what I mean by that is energy production on the surface of the microgrid and then stormwater management and water quality improvements happening within the subsurface conditions. Uh, if we target uh, the 10 sites that currently have TMDL credits, we're really left with a, a business model that allows us to start uh, from New York all the way down to about uh, Virginia and develop these microgrids in a way that uh, enables us to sell the credits to the municipalities as we look to grow and scale the business. Uh, in addition to that, I would say we're the only company that is currently developing a proprietary form of concentrated photovoltaics, which is really a microgrid in a box. So if you think of a microgrid as a large you know, solar installation with battery storage, if you were to concentrate all of that down to something the, the half the size of a refrigerator in your house, that is the proprietary technology that we're working on that stacks all of the panels inside of an enclosure and actually captures sunlight through a lens and then concentrates it onto the surface area of the panels and the battery storage, which is all located within that modular structure. I'm just thinking about the catalysts that are on the horizon. I had a couple I wanted to mention. Uh, the first one is the uh, conferences and the uh, interviews and roadshows that we'll be doing over the next six to nine months. So we have eight of those booked across the country, and you'll be seeing me on the road quite a bit uh, over the rest of this year. Uh, we have two major compliance items that we're working on on the OTC market side. We have the FIP Form 15C 2-11 and the Form 10 registration. Both of those are really important for us to be a full SEC reporting company and to be eligible for the proprietary broker-dealer quotations. Uh, we also have two potential uh, new pending contracts, one within the state of Maryland that we're doing customer discovery on right now. And we actually met a large real estate developer at the microcap conference two weeks ago, uh, who's building a large sustainable housing complex in Tulum, Mexico. And he's interested in partnering with us to build a microgrid that would power that uh, new housing development that he's building. So there could be uh, updates on that in the near future. Uh, we've also worked a lot of overtime the last two months to submit a variety of federal and state level grants. Uh, some of them are with Maryland and uh, Energy Administration and other ones are on the uh, Small Business Administration or the federal SBIR side. Uh, so we'll be looking forward to getting some feedback from those in the near future, uh, whether we want or not. And lastly, uh, probably the most important catalyst for energy finders would be the launch of our website over the next week and the uh, marketing, branding, and IR exposure that we're planning to do with a, a new partner we've started engaging with uh, called Mission Matters. And they do everything from podcasts to publishing books, all the way through brand development and personal brand development, which is really important when you're raising capital and trying to establish credibility and awareness. So those are kind of the big five uh, that I would say investors should keep an eye on. Seems like quite an exciting times uh, ahead for energy finders and a lot to, uh, for investors to look forward to. You got it. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Thank you for your time here with us, Keith. Uh, uh, we'll look forward to speaking with you again. Very much so. Thank you for your time and thank you for any of the investors for taking the time out of their day. We appreciate it. Thank you.